Okay, so now we're going to go into some slightly more advanced stuff and mainly to do with the pattern editor here. Command T to create a new track and Shift Command T will delete a track, the track you have selected. Command T to create them, Shift Command T to delete them. Pressing Alt A is another really useful one. Alt A once will just select the notes column. Pressing Alt A again will include the panning and delay and volume columns and then one more time and it will include all the effects columns going up from your point. Now you have Alt A and then you have Alt Z going down from your point. So you can kind of like go to the bottom and press Alt A and just have the notes column or go to the top and I press Alt Z if I show you, Alt Z and then select all the way down. So it's really useful for just wiping out a line of notes or killing, I can come here and just select you know just the delay or just the volume and wipe out just that information very simply which is a lot more convenient than to do it with a mouse you've got to alt click and then hold shift and alt and drag down or alt click in and then go to the end and you could press shift and alt and click at the bottom so you it's not so bad so that was quite useful what I did there was I pressed alt clicked in the line hold shift and then I just pressed end and it selected the whole line for me. So you, sometimes you can combine the mouse and the, the keyboard effects to create kind of an optimal workflow. So another really really useful one, if I just put in some note data, random bits of note data here and I'm just putting in any old thing. So you press command shift and then page up and down and it'll actually jump to the next bit of note information in your current columns. So now I'm just jumping just to these notes but if I use tab and shift tab I can jump across and then hold again command shift page up and down and so you can jump between columns jumping just to the notes that you want to get to that you've edited so that you know compared to having to click around to get to all these notes that's much much quicker and that's a really really cool shortcut if I was going to say remember any of them the page up and down with command and shift is an absolute lifesaver. Numpad enter is going to loop the, an area for you and now if I press play it's just going to loop round this round and round. I can use command with the plus and minus arrows on my numpad to move this loop region up and down and then I can use command plus star and command plus divide to make the loop section bigger or smaller. Okay, well, thanks for listening and catch me with part three coming soon.